Iga's fiance versus Carolina Pushkova is the second semi-final for the Qatar Open for 2024. Both ladies have had different roads to get here. Pushkova started the tournament unseated and will take on Kalen Skyer in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 2-6, 7-6, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on Potapova. And after dropping the second set, would have to fight back to win 6-1, 5-7, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on Noskova, another player just like Kalen Skyer who had played really well in Australia. And again, after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 3 6 7 5 6 1. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Naomi Osaka, a player she'd beaten at the start of the season in Brisbane. And after two close tie breaks, Pliskova would eventually win 7 6 7 6 to advance to the semi finals. Fiance entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Castella. This is no problem getting through in straights 6 1 6 1. Third round, she'd take on the 14th seed Alexandrova. And again, no problem for Fiante getting through in straights 6 1 6 4. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Azarenka, who had just beaten Ostapenko for the third third time this year, which meant Sviantec wouldn't have to play her boogie woman. And this was a relief to Sviantec, who would get through in straights. 6-4-6-love, six, six, to advance to the semi-finals. These two have only played three times before, with Sviantec leading the head-to-head 3-0, but they have played a couple of close matches over the last 12 months. Once in Stuttgart last year, where Pliskova finally won a set, and also in Montreal, with a first set tiebreak. So, the way Pliskova's been playing as well, with all that confidence after winning in Transylvania last week, fiance has got to be at her best. If Pliskova's going to win this one, she needs to serve well. She's been serving so well and also try and keep the energy up as well because of course she's played so much tennis over the last couple of weeks played pretty much every day since winning in Transylvania last week and even then she had won three or four matches in a row to get to that title so she's gonna have to try and maybe keep the point short not get in rallies with Triantec and use that serve to get the free points as well if Triantec's gonna win this one she needs to keep Pliskova out there as long as possible doesn't necessarily have to win the first set but just keep Pliskova out there as long as she can and rallies long long rallies are gonna make it for Triantec and be better for Triantec in the long run what a fun matchup we didn't expect this one of course Triantec we expect because she's been two-time defending champion. But, you know, Zachary, Osaka, Garcia, Jabir all fell down in that section. Pliskova got through. But I've got to go with Sviantec in a close straight set. I just think Sviantec against Pliskova right now is just much better. And also in Doha, no one can beat Sviantec. She's won so many matches here in a row. She's won the last two times. I have to go with her to make the final. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you have in making the final of Doha?